Hey, welcome to this week's Steam Culture. We're shooting in the kitchen because we got booted out of our normal place. And I have a guest this week, so this is Bill Fogarty, and he heads up our valve shop. Now, Bill loves historical steam things, and he's the one that gave me the idea for that Allison Chalmers uh, episode we did down at the Louisville Water Museum. So when I found this next thing on the internet, I knew this was the guy to go to, and I found something called the Sterling Engine. Most of the stuff we do has to do with steam. This is kind of a little twist on that. This engine was invented because in the early 1800s, steam engines were dangerous. They were exploding. So a Scottish minister by the name of Robert Sterling invented this early 1800s, and it is a sealed system, and it's got to do with pistons, expansion, and contraction, and low pressure, which makes it very safe. Also, one very important advice, it is external combustion. Right. Right. The heat comes from the outside. So right. Bill's going to take it and explain how these things work. Well, there's a bunch of different kinds. We'll talk about the Alpha engine, which is probably right. easiest to understand. Alpha engine consists of two cylinders, a hot right. cylinder and a cold cylinder. Right. Uh, there are two pistons, two connecting rods connected to a common flywheel. Okay. Right. And the uh, pistons, uh, cylinders are also connected to each other by a he header pipe. So what happens, we heat up the hot cylinder, the air in the hot cylinder expands, it pushes against the cylinder walls and cylinder head, but it can't move those. So okay. the piston moves. Right. The piston okay. moves, moves the connecting rod, which turns the flywheel counterclockwise. Okay. So I said there was two pistons. Right. Um, the hot side expands and pushes the connecting rod. The cold side uh -huh. is connected to the flywheel also. So mm. as the uh, hot side going down to the bottom of the stroke, the cold side is going to the bottom of the stroke and increases the area in the cylinder, uh -huh. which exposes the media to cooling fins. It cools, reduces the pressure, and therefore it goes back to top dead center. So it, and then the media is heated back up in the hot side and the cycle just repeats and as long as there's heat. So as long as there's heat, the cycle just continues. Now right. speaking of heat, does it matter? No, Maybe it could hot be hot air, flame, right. hot solar, water, solar, right? Yeah, all kinds of uses for this. Well, like Bill said, there's there's the alpha, right? The gamma, the beta, and the beta are the three most popular. We have a little model of a gamma engine, right? Right. Okay, so we're going to show you a little bit how the gamma engine works. So this is so cool. We just had to show it to you. This is a different kind of Sterling engine. This is the a gamma style. This is the gamma style. Now this involves displacement, so it's only got. One little deal down here, this is called the hot plate. So we're using hot water to heat it up. This top is cold. The air volume is increasing on the bottom, pushing it up, and it's forcing the colder air on the top down at the same time. And you kind of have the same principle as the first one, right? Well, yeah, what's interesting, if you put this over ice, it'll go in the opposite direction, which is really cool. Oh, very cool. Speaking of cool, join us next week because I'm going to have a very cool episode for you. I hope you enjoyed this one. I sure did. I'm keeping this little engine because it's mine. Uh, find us on social media because we're everywhere. I'll have something interesting for you next week. Thanks to Bill for joining us. Thank you. See you next Friday.